you're coming to Japan, you can't miss out on visiting Kyoto, a city that is known to be a melting pot of Japanese culture from thousands of temples and shrines, incredible natural beauty, and its historic geisha culture and tea culture. We only have two days here, so we'll show you all the top things you should do while you're here in Kyoto. on our list is the Hozugawa River Boat Ride, which is in the Arashiyama area. We recommend coming early so you don't have to line up too long. We're here at 9 when they just open, so we're going to be hopping on a boat soon. And how much are the tickets? The tickets are 4,500 yen each, which is roughly under like $40 US, but it is a two hour long boat ride and it goes all the way down the um, Hozugawa River towards the bamboo forest. So we will get wet. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. You can fit like 24 people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Including the, the boatman, I think it's close to what, 27. Yeah. There are three boatmen. Three or two. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's kawaii. Oishi, oishi. Oishi? Oishi. Japan, we don't have a rose. Barbecue. Uh, uh, Kawaii, <laughs> oishi. Cute and delicious. Ja Japan, Japan. <laughs> the front two rollers, they're doing all the hard work. And then the one in the back is controlling the direction. And, and telling, telling us, us how delicious all the birds are. So if you're even more adventurous, you can do the rafting instead of the boat tour. They're just practicing back there because this is the starting point for the more exciting part of the river. Hold on. <laughs> okay, boat there we go. Are you hungry? Do you want anything? Yeah, dango. Maybe dango. And if you're hungry, you don't have to worry because there is a, a floating, floating market here. Yeah, floating 7 Eleven, floating lost. Okay. <laughs> you want No, you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> diet, diet. <laughs> this looks amazing. I got grilled squid and three dangos. All for. A thousand yen. Oh, how's it? How's it? It's just. Japan show you. Yeah. It's just grilled with um, some Japanese soy sauce on it. Oh, delicious. After a short 10 minutes hike from where we got off the boat, we are now at one of the most popular attractions here in Kyoto, Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. There are a lot of people here. 
And I thought we came here early already. No, I don't think you can ever be early enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's also because it's free to enter. You don't pay an admission, and it's just a beautiful walk. You can go back all the way to the river area mm -hmm. as well. It feels very romantic when you're walking through this path, and <laughs> when the wind blows and you hear the, the bamboo sing. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so beautiful. And it's worth coming to visit. the city and we are now at Nishiki Market, also known as Kyoto Kitchen. It is a great place if you're looking to grab some fresh sushi, some traditional Japanese snacks, and if you wanted to buy some souvenirs to take home from Kyoto. What you got there? This is too cute to pass. This is a tiny octopus. And inside is a quail egg. Oh, I was wondering why it's so round. Yeah. I think you have to eat the whole thing. That was actually really yummy. It mostly tastes like quail egg. But then the um, outside is a little bit sweet. So many options here, it's overwhelming. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks Eosa good. of Thunder God. It has the Michelin Guide as well. Can you get it? Yeah. Wow. Fresh off the pan. And he said it tastes better without sauce, so let's just try it as it. Let's go over here. I can get it to focus. I have to cover your face. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. That's delicious. It's so juicy. He's right, you don't need sauce for this. Well, wow. that's the best videos I've had here. I love this market. made it to Gion District, which is a famous area for wooden houses, tea houses, and if you are lucky, you may even spot a geisha walking down these streets. And if you don't know what a geisha is, they are traditional Japanese entertainers skilled in dance, music, and even conversation. And there aren't that many geishas left in Japan, so you gotta be really lucky to see one. Exploring and walking around Kyoto, we are now lined up here at Sujiri Tea House to try some matcha desserts. I love good matcha. Wow. Wow. Yours looks a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a matcha jelly, matcha whipped cream, red bean inside, matcha ice cream, uh, vanilla ice cream, hojicha jelly, and I don't know, matcha jelly? It's fully loaded. <laughs> Nothing is overly sweet, so it goes really well together. It's 
So your trip to Kyoto won't be complete without coming to the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It is famous for the tunnel of red torii gates that lead up to Mount Inari. And to get here was pretty easy as well. We started at Kyoto Station and we hopped on the Nara Line for two stations to Inari Station. And the shrine entrance is just outside the train. Inari like the food? If, like the tofu skin with the <laughs> yeah. rice. Yeah. It's funny you mention that because this shrine um, is dedicated to the Shinto god mm -hmm. called Inari, who is the god of rice. And his messengers are foxes, and that's why you'll see foxes everywhere, mm -hmm. kind of around I saw this a shrine. Few, just the entrance already. Yeah. And the fox's favorite food is fried tofu. Is that how they came up with? Maybe. Inari? Yeah, the fried tofu skin with the <laughs> rice inside Inari, which was one of my favorites when I was a kid. <laughs> this place is beautiful, isn't it? With all the contrast of the colors, the bright red colors, make it such a photogenic place. Mm -hmm. But one thing I noticed about anywhere in Kyoto is that there are a lot of people. <laughs> and no matter how early we try to get up to go to a place, it's always busy. So our tip is just to go at your own pace. Everywhere is going to be packed, but you'll always find, you know, a spot to enjoy things yeah. and don't be put off when it's like too many people. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's, this is just a very beautiful and um, a bit touristy place and you cannot come to Japan and not come to Kyoto but if you're looking for something more quiet then where we were in Takayama yeah and Shira, Shira Kawago. Kawago that was more like countryside quiet and also beautiful you see all the writing behind the Tori gates yeah they carve into the wood so all the tour gates, like a thousand of them, are donated by individuals or companies. And these huge ones, guess how much the donation is? Ten thousand dollars. Oh, I don't know how much that would be. What in is it yen. in yen? One million yen, I think at least. One million yen. For one gate? For the big ones, yeah. Okay, let me check real quick. Hold on. Hey, I was close. Seven thousand dollars. US. Then that's actually not too bad to have a huge tour gate with your name or your company. Should we on get there. one? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're so beautiful though. Yeah. They kinda get smaller and smaller and like tighter, like they the gap between them get less and less as mm -hmm. we walk up. As you walk down from the Tori gates, you're going to walk by this place on the left side and what they serve is amazake, I think it's called amazake. It's a traditional sweet non-alcoholic drink made from fermented rice. You can smell it as you pass through her tiny house. And when you get here, you just have to go sumimasen and then she'll come out and greet you. Let's sit down. ありがとうございます。失礼します。飲みやすい。ありがとうございます。じゃあ、こちらはえ、ジンジャーです。ジンジャー。はい。生姜です。お好みでこの甘い酒に入れてミックス。ミックス。ジンジャー。ジンジャ
And yeah, it's like a winter drink. But I think the ginger is gonna make this really yummy. Mm. It's better? It's perfect with the ginger. That's delicious. It not only is delicious, but it has lots of health benefits as well because it's fermented, so it's good for your gut health. It also has like antioxidants, has B vitamins from the rice. Like there's a lot of good stuff with this amakate. <laughs> That's so good. This is so good. Even the texture, the consistency mm -hmm. is so yummy. I don't know how to describe the taste. Sweet, cold, congee. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. No, that it. doesn't sound good. <laughs> but a good version. on our list is the Kiyomizu Dera Temple which is known as the pure water temple because there is a waterfall that kind of flows right next to it it's quite high up <laughs> to get to this place you have to hike we hike about 30 minutes through the street that is so crowded there were thousands of tourists we thought this is the perfect place to end our day and end our list because as you walk all the way up this temple, you get a beautiful view of Kyoto. And right now it is getting close to sunset. So maybe we're lucky. We're gonna see the sunset from the wooden terrace up top. So we changed our mind instead of going to the... Into the temple where you have to pay 400 yen per person because it looks super crowded. Yeah. We found this spot where we can see the Kyoto Tower and uh, pretty much the whole city from here. It's kind of neat that you can walk all the way up here and enjoy the view and don't necessarily have to go in to the temple, but it is a UNESCO heritage site since 1994. So if you are interested in that, of course, <laughs> go enjoy uh, the view from inside. I do have some final thoughts about Kyoto. What I really like about the city is that it is very beautiful and a lot of the attractions aren't actually that far away from each other. It doesn't take a long time to get to places. But the amount of people can be overwhelming. I think for us, Kyoto is even more crowded than Tokyo. Tokyo. We have a lot on our list so you can pick and choose which one you want to visit. Thank you again for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.